Well, for the first time in her role as vice president, Kamala Harris is visiting the U.S.-Mexico border. This comes as the Biden administration struggles to house migrant children. According to Homeland Security, nearly 900 unaccompanied minors are being held in border patrol facilities, while more than 14,000 were in the care of the Department of Health and Human Services. So for more on this, let's bring in Abby Livingston. She's the Washington Bureau Chief for the Texas Tribune. Thank you so much for joining us, Abby. Um, so what Thanks can you tell me. us about Vice President Harris's visit uh, to Texas? Uh, you know, what's her response after facing criticism for, you know, what at least the Republicans are calling a delayed visit? Well, she's currently en route to El Paso, um, and she is going to be accompanied by the Secretary of the uh, Department of Homeland Security, Mayorkas, uh, Senator Dick Durbin, who is the chairman of the Judiciary Committee in the Senate, which has jurisdiction over immigration, and the local congresswoman who's a Democrat, Veronica Escobar. Um, she will be touring a facility, and she will be briefed on the situation at the border, and um, they uh, and she will be taking questions from the press. And the White White House last night pushed back, um, as they have before, on the criticism that she's not been down there to remind uh, reporters that she is the former senator and attorney general of California, which has its own border. But her critics will counter that the border is very long and very uh, different from place to place. So the Biden administration has reunited 24 migrant families over the past week. What's the significance of these reunifications as President Biden uh, rolls back some of the Trump administration's immigration policies? Well, White House officials last night were insisting that the situation has gotten better, um, and this gives them a chance to do that. And they were quick to remind reporters that um, the they inherited this, I guess, mess is the best word, from the Trump administration. And they reemphasized over and over again, El Paso is where they chose to send the vice president, um, and that that is where the Trump policy began. And so uh, I think that what they're trying to do is demonstrate uh, things are getting better. I guess we'll see if the, the proof is in the pudding in the next few months. So with policy changes happening at the U.S.-Mexico border, what can you tell us about what's happening with thousands of migrants who now have a second chance at reapplying for asylum in the U.S.? I'm not fully briefed on that. What I can say is in Congress, there is some legislation moving to increase uh, the ability to process some of these migrants. Um, but it is a very intractable decision. And Republicans are watching mm -hmm. every move of this. And I can tell you with members of Congress from Texas who aren't don't even represent the border but are Republicans, they will say there is no issue their voters care about more. And so this is just a, a, a highly intractable situation that uh, occurs every every few years, especially during the summer when the temperature's warmer and migrants come up. But the Biden administration says over and over they're trying to address the problem in Central America, which is the root of it, before it uh, escalates to the border. We also know, uh, as you do, that uh, former President Trump is expected to visit Texas later this month. Uh, what should we expect to see from him and what are the optics of his visit? Why is he going there? Well, there's no topic he likes talking about more. It was defined his 2016 presidential campaign. I think what's going to be fascinating is to see how many members of Congress go with him. I think it'll be on a voting day. I have to double check. But do they miss votes to go to the photo opportunity Republicans down with the president? And I think that just shows one more pull of his hold over the party and the emphasis they put on both the immigration issue and appearing with Trump, who has championed that more than any other Republican that I've seen. All right. Abby Livingston, thank you very much as always. We appreciate it. Thank you.